We are hearing a lot of negative comments from people who've been unsuccessful with trying to be nominated by the ACS. A nomination from the ACS is apparently very difficult to obtain. Should I apply for an ACS nomination for the Global Talent Visa? What is the process for an ACS nomination? What are the alternatives to an ACS nomination? Today's video will talk about the ACS nomination criteria and its alternatives. We are one of Australia's largest immigration law firms and have a team of immigration lawyers and registered migration agents who can help you. Work Visa Lawyers is proud to be a multilingual company with lawyers and agents who can speak Mandarin, Vietnamese, Punjabi, Portuguese, and Tagalog. If you'd like us to help you, please hit subscribe and the bell to get notified of our latest videos. A stumbling block for many people is trying to find a potential nominator for the Global Talent Visa. While you might be prominent in your field, it can be difficult to find someone to nominate you. The nominator for a Global Talent Visa must be an Australian citizen or permanent resident or an Australian organisation. They must have a national reputation in the same sector as the applicant. One of the organisations that has been recognised by the Department of Home Affairs is the Australian Computer Society or the ACS. The ACS can now assess nominations for the following target sectors, Digitech, FinTech and AgTech. The ACS is the peak industry body for the ICT sector. What is the process for applying for ACS nomination for the Global Talent Visa? There's three steps involved. Step one, a preliminary assessment. Applicants need to show that they meet the ACS and the Department of Home Affairs criteria. In that, the applicants need to prove they are internationally recognized and have outstanding achievements in their field, and they are prominent in their field, and they will be an asset to the Australian community and they will have no difficulty in obtaining employment in Australia. Also, their contribution will be to the benefit of Australia. The ACS now requires applicants to pay a non-refundable fee of $300 for a Global Talent Visa Suitability Assessment. Work Visa Lawyers offers a free assessment from our website as to whether you fit the criteria for a GTI. Step two, the ACS will request for additional information as necessary. You may need to attend an interview with the ACS. Step three, the ACS will advise you whether the ACS can proceed with a Global Talent Visa nomination. If the ACS deems the applicant suitable, they will require a payment of $500 and provide the applicant with a nomination letter for the Distinguished Talent Visa, which will be a completed form 1000. The ACS will only nominate applicants who they deem to be strong candidates. It is important to clearly demonstrate the applicant's skills and expertise in their relevant field. Their achievements must be exceptional and cutting edge. They need to have been involved in significant projects that have wide reaching impacts. Applicants need to have made a significant contribution or made significant innovations in relation to something of international significance in their field. An example of international recognition. You are working as the head of a cybersecurity team in a global tech giant. The project that you've developed has been widely used as one of the main projects for that tech giant. Based on that example, you could be counted as having an international recognition. Because the ACS will only nominate those who they think is the best and brightest in the field, ACS nomination is difficult. Because of the number of submissions that the ACS receive, it can take a few weeks for the ACS to make a decision. The ACS processing times can be anywhere from six to 12 weeks. In some instances, it can take up to 24 weeks to process. So you, if you were in Australia and your visa expiring, you may need to look for another nominator. There are many applicants who have been declined by the ACS and still been able to successfully secure a Global Talent Visa program, invitation and visa. 
The basic answer is you will need another nominator. The nominator will still need to be in your sector, which is Digitech. It can be an individual in your field or an employer who is willing to nominate you. In that way, you can both have a job offer to prove your employability and meet the nomination criteria for the program. Both must have an international reputation and be prominent in their field. Many applicants have their own network and are experienced in dealing with different global talent, people and sectors. So the challenge is to reach out to your own professional network and locate either a business or an individual that may be able to nominate you. We've done many applications for Digitech that haven't involved being nominated by the ACS. And so we know that you can be successful without the ACS. That said, if you're able to secure a nomination from the ACS, that is also a very positive thing. That's the end of our video today about the ACS nomination process and alternatives. If you're interested to know more, you can contact our team of migration lawyers and migration agents. Please like and subscribe to encourage us to make more videos. Thank you for watching.